Okay, we're back here at 16229 Dorley Lane here in Encino. <coughs> now, um, we were given permission to hydrojet the sewer line that we couldn't get passed through on our first inspection. And we, that's what we did from the four inch clean out here by the garage. We actually got our camera in all the way to the city connection in the street. There's the city sewer flowing by. Now, there was one spot in the line going down the driver. We had a very tough time trying to get our camera over the spot. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this now once I have it all the way down the hill. And we'll show you what the line looks like. Um, whoever replaced the sewer line over here, they did it in bits and pieces instead of replacing the whole thing with a pipe bursting system. It appears they did bits and pieces. But um, nevertheless, we have our camera in the line. The, the grade going downhill to the street is very good. What we're looking at right here is the city sewer. There it's flowing by right there. So we're going to bring the camera back. There's the city sewer. Now it looks like we have a, a six inch cured in place pipelining um, from the coming back from the middle of the street towards the property. And it appears to be in good condition as of today. So we're going to bring the camera back. Now whether this was done with a permit, that I cannot tell you. But uh, the lining, looking at it as of today, looks like it's in good condition. So we're just going to keep coming back. There's our jet and nozzle right there. As it comes onto the property, changes to like an ABS plastic pipe and probably a polyethylene pipe as well. This all looks good over here. Over there, you can see that's a very poor connection made over here. Uh, so I'm going to just pause the recording. Just go forward a little bit. You see how badly that's connected. That's really bad. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to locate that spot. Okay, we've located this um, near the property line. Five and a half feet deep over here underneath the pavers. Very poor connection done over here. So we're going to keep coming back. This is a clay pipe. You can see got pretty heavy roots over here that will clean up when we come back. See, they left pieces. It's like they left this section over here. And then they replaced this. So, I, I don't understand. And now right over there, there's... Well, we have to come back. Right over here. Just go like this a little bit. Put it back. See there? Right over there, it's very poorly connected, this over here. Um, we had a very tough time trying to jump over this over here. Look, you see, that's like a lining. It's like they did bits and pieces over here. It's very, it's not good at all. We're going to recommend that this whole section over here is about 15 feet apart be replaced over here. This is very poorly connected. Okay, so let's just keep coming back. It comes back up the hill, all with polyethylene pipe. This is all good. Why they never went the extra distance, I'll never know. But um, we will clean out those roots as we come back. I just wanted to make a video because we had a very tough time trying to jump over that very bad dislocation. This is all in good condition over here. This was all replaced. And why they never went the extra 15 feet or so, it's... I don't understand why. So we're going to recommend that that be replaced. Because otherwise you've got a pretty good sewer line over here. Now right over there, that's this first spot over here. Go forward a little. This spot over here I'm going to locate as well. 
because there's heavy roots getting in there. So let me locate. This was the original spot we couldn't get through. Okay, so this we've located uh, just beyond the concrete driveway underneath the, the, the um, pavers. And you can see a very poor connection over here. There's heavy roots getting in over there. And it comes underneath the concrete driveway in a clay pipe that I don't understand why this was never replaced as well. So I'm talking about bits and pieces. Now, when I do go in again, I will clean out those roots just to make sure that it is clean. This all should have been replaced over here. And then this comes back here. It looks like he very heavy roots over here as well. This almost looks like it's Orangeburg pipe over here. So, But I'm going to clean it all out anyway. I just wanted to make a video over here of the line. And we'll go ahead and stop the recording over here.